and let's see the significance of similarity to understand similarity in its more definitive manner so let's see the significance where i connect this with real life example once say for example snigda has gone to an open ground and she found one of the tree there on the ground a very tall tree so so stick snigda was just on the ground and she stood out here she just stood here and she was trying to watch she was just standing here on the ground and she was wondering a very tall tree in the open ground which was here so she was wondering what could be the height of the tree she wanted to measure without actually measuring with the tape because a very tall tree it's very difficult to measure with the tape because climbing that and going to such a tall height would not be an easy task so she was wondering on how she can find the height of the tree using mathematics then immediately her, she has seen one of her uh, uncle coming out there who was basically very good in maths and then she was asking him about the same question which has puzzled her on how to find the height of the tree without actually measuring this with a tape then in this case she was just puzzled and her uncle looked at her for a while and then asked her to get a small mirror then she brought the mirror and he asked her to put the mirror somewhere on the ground here so she put the mirror here on the ground and then so this is entirely the ground and she placed the mirror on the ground here and she asked her to start looking into the mirror until the top of the tree which is until this top of the tree is visible here so she started adjusting herself in different positions to see where until she reaches to that place on the ground where she can see this top of the tree on into the mirror so until she could see this point of the tree into the mirror she halted there now once she got the position where the top of the tree was identified then she started looking at that top from here now in this case i identify two triangles one is the right angle triangle abc where ab is the height of the girl snigna and c is the mirror where exactly the position of the mirror is where both of them can see the top of the tree where she can see the top of the tree which is on the other side of the mirror and d e is the height of the tree so in this case i have two right angle triangles one is abc and dec which are the right angled triangles such that both of them are related with the common mirror placed in the middle between the tree between the girl and the tree now here i can easily identify that these two triangles are similar though they are of different sizes we understand that these two triangles are similar because they are similar they make us find the height of the tree indirectly using the height of the girl the height of the girl can easily be measured with a tape but height of a tree which is so tall is not that easy to be measured using a tape now this concept of similar triangles where triangle abc is similar to triangle ced or dec is what is very useful in understanding the similarity connected with real life now why do you think when these two triangles are similar the significance is so high that this can be applied in real life how do you think the height of the tree is measured by snigda just based on the two triangles being similar is the biggest question out here because when two triangles are similar it is assumed that each of the angles is same corresponding angles is same and the corresponding sides are in same ratio 
So when two triangles are similar, denoted with similarity with this, this is the symbol for similarity that implies each of the angle, this angle is equal to angle E. And then this angle is equal to angle E, BCA is equal to ECD and also angle A is equal to angle D which is 90 in this case, in this case being 90. So when two triangles are similar their corresponding angles will be same and not only that their corresponding sides will be also e in same ratio that is when the corresponding angles equal and if I continue here and corresponding sides that is the sides AC by CD will be equal this side by this side will be equal to this side by this side that is AB by DE and that will be equal to the third side BC by EC. So this is how we understand BC by EC. Therefore the corresponding sides are in same ratio when two triangles are similar and the corresponding angles are equal when the two triangles are similar. Therefore when I say the two triangles are similar there are two important properties I note. One is the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in same ratio. The word corresponding is very important because if I divide this height with this height I may not be right in my similarity. So corresponding side of the girl is the corresponding height of the tree. The corresponding distance of the girl from the mirror is the corresponding side measured from the mirror to the tree but not from mirror to the top of the tree. The corresponding side measuring the distance from mirror to the top of the girl is same as the corresponding side measuring the mirror to the top of the tree this is how we understand the word corresponding. So in this case the corresponding sides are in same ratio. Therefore it's very easy to find the distance of the mirror from the girl and the distance of the mirror from the tree using a measuring tape. It is not that tough task that I can measure the distance on the ground but measuring on the tree is not an easy task. Therefore once Snigna measures this distance using the measuring tape and this distance using the measuring tape and her height also which can be measured using the tape because she can be at the most 5 feet or 5 and a half feet. So therefore once she measures her height using the measuring tape and this height and this height I know the dimension of this and this and this then this will not be an easy task using this concept. Where if I know the height of this as x1 and x2 and x3 then I can find the height of the tree by substituting here where my AB is x1 and my DE is something I want to find as the height of the tree. If I take this as H then this reduces to H. X1 by H will be equal to AC which is nothing but X2 and my CD which is X3 on substitution gives me the height of the tree HX2 is X1 times X3 that implies H is X1 times X3 by X2 which is the height of the tree. So this is how we find the height of tree by measuring each of x1, x3 and x2, x1 being the height of Snigna, x2 being the distance from, Snigna, from mirror to Snigna and x3 being the distance from mirror to the tree which can easily be measured using a measuring tape and hence we obtain the height of the tree without actually measuring. However tall the tree is can be done using similarity of triangles. This is the significance of similarity connected with the angles and the ratio of sides.